um, Cardan's spur fuel problem. Cardano, as you go Cardano in uh, the 1500s asked, What is the locus described by a marked point on a circular disc that rolls along the inner edge of a disc of double its radius? Okay, so we'll start with the um, There's a disk, and we'll give it a radius uh, radius r, and then we'll create a second disk that's going to roll inside that, and we'll give it a radius r over two. Now we'd like it to lie point to lie on the original disk and we'll make them tangent at that point and we'd now like to draw and they're going to draw a line out to there and we will specify um, the angle here to be theta now we need to mark a specific point on a rolling wheel um, a good way to do that would be to is to create um, an n gone. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a polygon. Actually, let's put maybe uh, eight sides. So now we can see it uh, as it rolls. If we change theta at the moment, um, what's going to happen? Uh, it's doing something kind of arbitrary. So we haven't fixed what's how the how the polygon is going to how the inner wheel is going to roll. So what I'd like to do is um, I'll create a small line there. I'm going to increase uh, increase the transparency of the uh, the polygon so I can see what lies underneath it. So if the if the if the inner wheel is rotating at If there's no slippage and the inner wheel is half the radius, then it's going to be rotating at twice the speed. Uh, the, the, the rotation of the inner wheel is going to be twice as fast as, how, as the angle that it moves around uh, the center. So this angle here um, is going to be 2 times theta. A little bit of experimentation uh, sometimes uh, is necessary to make sure that what we're uh, modeling is, is really is really real life. But as we watch it, um, it looks visually right. That looks like that thing is rotating appropriately. It seems seems like a reasonable model. So now, actually, if you look at where does the, where the point E goes, one of the points on the uh, on the circumference, we can see it actually maps out a straight line. Mm -hmm. It's staying on the axis. If we look at its coordinates, um, we can verify that. We can see that its coordinates are r cos theta 0. So in fact it does stay uh, on the axis. If we take any of the other points on the circumference that we've created and look at their locus, um, as theta varies, uh, we can see that that also is a straight line. Again, let's animate theta. Um, and we can see how the points, the different points on the circumference, all uh, map straight lines. So I've answered uh, Cardano's original problem. Let me just do, think of one other thing. Um, what if we took a different ratio? We've taken a ratio of exactly 2. What if we decided uh, to make the ratio uh, perhaps 4? 
So instead of r over 2, let's make this r over 4 here. Now we get some interesting pictures, but we've still, we have still have one problem with this model. As we increase, the, as we watch theta going, we see that in fact that wheel's not turning fast enough. If you look at it, you can see that's um, that, that our model is incorrect because we have a two theta in here. Uh, we ought to have changed that to four times theta. So now our model should look right, and our different points are marking out these interesting looking curves. Um, let me get rid of the, uh, the coordinates there. Um, now, actually, the one I want is the locus of point E. Let me, make, let me get that one. And I'll get rid of these other ones, which are just uh, rotations of that same curve. Now, uh, let's just look at the... Um, equation of that curve to see what kind of thing it is. Um, I can look at the implicit equation and I can see that um, what is that? Well it's a complicated looking equation uh, but let's focus on the x's and y's and we see there's an x to the sixth, x to the fourth times a y squared, x squared times y fourth, y to the sixth and so on. In fact um, it's got terms in x and y, all of the terms are even um, but they go up to the sixth power, so it's a it's a it's a sixth order curve. Um, although you could think of it as a third order equation in x squared and y squared. Um, well, I don't want to I don't want to think too much more about that. Um, let me just change its uh, line properties just as I'll be doing something more with this diagram in a second. Uh, but let me get back to my uh, slideshow. We did solve. Um, Cardan's original uh, spur wheel problem, the locus is in fact a straight line. What I'd like to now look at is the asteroid. And the question here uh, is to find the envelope of the fixed line, two marked points of which slide along two mutually perpendicular axes. The, loc the envelope of the fixed line two marked points of which slide along two mutually perpendicular axes. Well, two mutually perpendicular axes can be the x and, uh, x and y axes. I'm going to uh, choose to put my, my fixed line in here. And I'm going to give it a specific length of r. Now, if I look, if I I can create a trace where I can look at. You no, know, I, I need to locate where its endpoint is. Um, so I'll just call out the coordinates of that endpoint. I'll I'll put it at location um, I want to use something I haven't used. S comma zero. Now I can ask to see a, a range of different locations for that um, for that line. Let's say we start with s at minus um, minus seven um, and go to s at seven, and we we see all those those locations at the same time, and it certainly looks like the envelope, which is the the out, outer rim of all those locations. Certainly looks like it is that um, the the curve that we picked up um, from the rotating disk. We can actually create the curve in geometric expressions by getting the locus of that line. Uh, no, it's not theta that's varying; it's s that's varying, and um, we see it certainly looks like it's lying on top. But the proof of the pudding is to actually get that specific curve selected. Now, at the moment, I'm selecting the asteroid, which isn't going to do any, any good. So let's hide the asteroid, the asteroid, the original, uh, uh, the original curve. Uh, what I want is this this curve that was created by uh, by the line. 
and let's get its equation. Now if I show everything again, um, I'll pick up the original the equation of the original curve and put them side by side, uh, one on top of the other, we can see that they are in fact identical. Um, so this is a case where a curve pulled from one problem gives you the solution to uh, a different problem. Interesting uh, exercise for the uh, viewer. Uh, can you show geometrically why these two things are, uh, are connected at the hip?